Hello, my name is Noelle. Let's play. I am going to be doing a let's play on the new Assassin's Creed game that came out. I have actually never played Assassin's Creed. I've always been interested in playing it, so I'm really, really excited. So it's going to be new for me, and um, I'm going to kind of go and like explain my thoughts and how I'm playing it, and it's going to be really exciting. Welcome, also, Assassin's Creed. Hello. Hello, Initiate. Recently, a Did Abstergo say hello, shit? began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. Okay. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, um, Bishop, no clue what Jacob Eden is. and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. Firing up our cameras. I've got picture. Okay. Now can I? Get, yes. The payload? No, I, I can't. I can't control this right now. Sending it now. Okay, so we have Rebecca and Sean. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Some high tech shit. Isabella Dodd has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. Really? Really with who? God, I already hate him. We did. And now I'm eager to try this new kit. And now I'm eager. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden. Deep breath taken. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Okay. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. All right, so I download memories. This is interesting. Brother George, it is as I feared. London, London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. So few. I, I need, need you. London needs you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master I so am ruthless, now assuming so that the Templars are evil. One might think Bad guys. Master of Dutch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Staric, and he intends to rule the world. Oh. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. This guy sounds is pretty fucking evil. Venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. So we've got the Templars, we've got these Blighter guys. By his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. Okay. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Warford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. The kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered. Though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. Controls the world. Okay, now why isn't this guy replying to his letters? I think that if I was getting letters like, oh shit, all hell's breaking loose, I would reply. I would send troops. I'd be like, oh my god, the world is in danger. This guy's either really careless or really dead. Or maybe he's evil. Maybe he's a temple. I probably sound stupid as fuck because I mean, I don't know any, any of the storylines. Just like that. Okay, you look cool. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Thank you. Thank you. Think you both can handle it? What yes. I think I can handle it. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry Twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, 
Dorothy. I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every room covered. And I've got all I need right here. Oh, shit. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George, through the train to catch you. Okay, that was cool. Could you imagine if you catch Jane just by jumping on, on, on the top? Poor man. More afraid than ever. He is not the kind. Fry, where did you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Yeah, because you're twins. Sneaking in, doing some tasks. How long does he intend to go on like this? He's disrupting the other workers. Really? God, this guy's an asshole. Send me some water for my head. Coming right up. Okay, coming right up. I'm gonna fix your head with my, my fist. Okay. Reach Ferris. Hold R2 to free run the right trigger. Oh, what what I just do? I'm running, that's cool. I'm probably assuming I can Hit some weird button. Alright, okay. What just happened? Nope. Not that way. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Am I really. Dude! I am. Oh my god, I am unstoppable! I'm like the most nimble fucking creature in the world. Okay. Nope, can't jump down there. Okay. I am assuming this is the way to go. It appears. No other option. You run down, yes. Okay. Oh. That. Okay. Hello there. Would you? Would, would you like? I just, I just want to ask if you'd like to go on a date with me. I'm a very handsome, stealthy man. Oh, you're, you're just the worst. Okay, there are, it looks like people are dying. This is the worst place in the world. The guy that I'm about to go hurt, that, that guy that came in, Rupert, is like... Devil. I, I've reached this. Okay, that was interesting. Move out of the way, little kids. There. I can go through here. And I'm gonna run to my destination! Woo! Locked. Locked. No one goes in or out, lest there's a problem. We have a problem. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. I gotta get... Holy... I think the game is programmed this way, but I really feel like the greatest game player in the world. Whoa. Wow. Okay. You will be the first, Otaku Chinchilla, and you will inspire other chinchillas to come out and embrace the otaku ways. 